Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome to Gwent Edge Plays. Uh, the goal of today is to check out the Wild Hunt Dominion deck in practice and try out a few uh, matches to see how you can use this deck in a variety of situations in the hope that I get a variety of situations, of course. So let's head straight in to our first match. So first match of the day against an Eldane. These trees will be your gravestone. Interesting. So traps. Traps is fine by me. Uh, we're going second, so I would try and get predatory dive out of here if I can. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. Uh, let's get rid of the navigator as well. Okay. Okay, we start with the summoning circle, which is not really handy, but that's fine. We don't really have a great hand at the moment, so I'm just going to play the bridge troll. That wish units are always a good start, since they can't really be countered like that. Aside from locking, but... Smile at. Weapons laugh to scorn. So that's an 8-powered Elven Swordswoman, fine by me. We can just use the Archispore. We're going to start this things off slowly, so just see what we can do here. We have a few consumers, so might as well use them to get started. So damaging... Our Death Wish units isn't going to help them too much. Let's play the Barbagazi. And then the turn. So we're not just one point behind. We also have the Summoning Circle to deal with. And it's an artifact heavy deck apparently. But I think that's going to be fine. because Okay, we're going to get another spawn with the Summoning Circle. And uh, we get another Elven Swordsman. Let us sing the song of steel! So the Barbagazi gets damaged, which is fine. Then, we have two consumes that we can do. So that's nothing to scoff at. Then we can use Hideous Feast to damage the Elven Swordsmaster. And boost the Archispore further. And then we're just going to consume the bridge troll. Like this. And that should be enough for now. So use this summoning circle and we're ahead right now. So we're getting more and more damage dealers there. Our Bagazi is almost down, which is fine. Um, I will use Brewis to actually get rid of the Barbagazi. Like this. And we get damaged by five, and we're still ahead, which is exactly what I wanted. Then that means with that trap, he's actually behind one point, so I'm gonna pass. Because he'll have to do. Ah, okay, it still triggers. Never mind, it still triggers. I was hesitating whether the trap would trigger after his uh, boss, but it did, it did. No biggie, exactly what I wanted. Um, now, let's get rid of the Necker Warrior. Uh, I won't be going second anymore, so let's get rid of Predatory Dive as well, and we get Grigoire, okay. Now, with that, I'm gonna just play the Peller. He's not gonna be useful. And then the turn. And that gets us to 10 cards each on the last round. Eldin still has all his abilities, so that's still 4 traps that he can convert into something else. But I have Nitrol. So Nitrol will be able to take out an artifact. Let's get rid of the Necker Warrior. There we go, there's Imlerith, there's the guy we need. Do we take the Cyclops? No. I think we're better off using something else. Ah. Okay, Cyclops would have been better, but Avalok. 
Um, and and the turn. So that if that is the pitfall trap, I'm in a bit of trouble. But I'm gonna try it anyway. So let's use Garantir. It's not the pitfall trap. And let's get Imrit on the board. Let's give him the shield and the boost. And then use Avalar to immune him. So there we go. End of turn. So we still have a few artifact destroyers. So that's going to be another trap probably. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna... I could try to play Gregoire, but I think Avalog is not going anywhere, so let's just do Rotfiend. There we go, the Pitfall Trap. Didn't expect something like that. And we played it off rather nicely, so end the turn. Okay. So we still have a second trap there. Uh, we lost the one power unit, sadly. And we lost the possibility for our consume as well. We don't have dominance just yet. So let's just play Nitral. We don't have dominance, so we won't damage the Sysynthesis by two, but we can as well. We can as well do that. There we go. Destroyed that artifact, and we can damage him, so let's end the turn. We could, of course, pull back the Pitfall Trap, but I think he should have done that by now, if he could. Now, let's use the Salino Harpy and capture Garanti. It's not a fireball trap. So let's end the turn again. You shall taste of your own medicine. Alvin Scout, which gets boosted for each trap. There we go. Let's use our next Imlrith. And boost them and shield them as well. And now we can start going haywire, so two damage on the Elven Scout, since we have dominance with the Harpy and the other Imlerit. I think next turn we'll be able to play Grégoire. Peace with humans. Abide so that moves. That moves, but we have dominance. So I can boost an allied unit by three. We're gonna do that with Avala. And then we can damage the one in the back and damage this one to each. So I think we have this unlock. He shuffles back. The, ooh, yeah. That's pulling back the trap, isn't it? Enough of this fast. Yeah, Fed return an ally and trap and play another trap. So that is fine, I guess. That is fine, I guess. I'm gonna have to... So the Pitfall Trap trick is before you actually do your deploy ability. So I'm gonna have to guess that that is the one that is active at the moment. So if I play uh, Whispers... There we go, that's a Pitfall Trap. Let's pack that. Then we can damage the Elven Scout by two. And then the turn, so we can't, because he has two reach, so I can't actually reach that back row from here. So next up we're going for Grigwire. Now we will see who is weak. I don't think he'll be able to... And there we have another card, but all on the front row, which is good. So let's damage the Trap Lady by one. Getting Grégoire there with a shield. So we have three shields at the moment, which is nice. Um, then we can kill off the Squirtel Neophyte and the other Squirtel Neophyte, like that. And we still have Shoop. The only good human is a dead. That is fine. And then we'll just play Shoop as a knight. A game resilience? No. 
Let's damage an enemy by four. Because the damage is uh, non-negotiable. So let's put him in the back so we have equal rows. Kill one of the elven dead eyes. And then we can just kill off... Well, just damage everything a bit further. So, 23 points ahead. I think we're fine. And he just boots himself. He has no traps left. And we won our first match. So there we go. Killed off a very cool Eldian deck, by the way. Because I love the fact that he used not a single trap at the beginning. So we went to the artifact route at the beginning. Okay, there we go. Leveled up as well. So heading straight into our second match against a Deathwish unit. Must be so well, a Deathwish deck with the Unseen Eldi. Okay. Um, I'm going second, so Predatory Dive is definitely a must. Geralt is going to help out in clearing out the boards. And the Wyvern... Wyvern does a bit of damage. But Hideous Feast it is. Okay. Let's try to stick with the organic cards at the beginning. Because if we can do that, we can avoid getting hit by any of those Deathwish abilities. So definitely going to start with Predatory Dive unless... Okay, that's a nice play. So let's counter that by starting with our own Deathwish units. So if we... Hmm, I'm hesitating whether I should use Karantir this first bout. You know what? No. Let's just start with the Rot Feet. He kind of countered my Predatory Dive pretty well there. Unless he uses it himself. I don't think I'll have much use for Predatory Dive at the beginning here. So then we have the Ekimara. Don't really have a really good starting hand this time. So I'm going to have to work with what I have. Um, let's start with Hideous Feast. And damage the Katakan and boost the Rot Fiend. Still gets us over, but not too heavily. And we get 7 points that we can distribute if we want to. There is no escape. Then we have Karantir with... Okay, the Harpy Egg. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for Wispus because the damage will be the least useful at the moment. Just kill off the Akimara in the back there. There we go, let's play that and then the turn. Just need to be careful that every time I play I stay close to his point total. Or their point total I mean. Because he's... They're wasting a lot of high value cards like Ekimara and Wispess. Which is an interesting play, but don't think I'll actually need to do anything with that. I think I'm just going to pass. I have a really crappy hand at the moment. So let's just pass and see how far we'll get after this. So I'm going to do something that I don't often do because of the risk. But I'm going to play Shoop in between... Well, in my pass round, quote-unquote. So Predatory Dive is going to be useless from now on. Necker could be handy. So I'm going to get rid of the Necker Warrior instead. So Shoop's Day Off is great. But it might be pretty risky at this point. If they don't play any cards, I'm just going to go with the Neckers first. No, they do. Okay, okay. Did expect something like this. So let's play the Neckers first in the back. And then the turn. He actually didn't use his leader ability, which is interesting. I think he must have forgotten to use his leader ability. Because usually that doesn't really happen. Ah, uh, there we go. Double Rot Fiend. Okay. We can fix that rather easily. By using... Geralt if need be, but... I'm gonna use Karantir first. So Karantir... 
with a second Imlirith that we then boost and protect. Because he did use his death wish units and the next turn I will have enough to actually clear that out. So, and the turn. If they don't play any cards, which I would hope for their sake, we should be fine. Unless they want to actually play this further. Okay. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. Especially since I can just finish this in one card. And I think I'm going to do that in a second. Do I get rid of the dominance immediately? I should probably. So let's just use Cyclops first. Like this, and then like that. Because I don't want to overplay this as well. If I can do this with less cards... Because he's making mistakes. Because now I can use Geralt to get rid of the Barbagazi. But I can also hold off on doing that. And just focus on... Getting me... Yeah, let's play Shoop now. So let's play Shoop. Get the Knight. And see if we can get Resilience. We can get Resilience. Okay. I'm gonna do that. So that's 8 points. And then 1 point with the... With Imlerit himself. So let's end the turn. And we can keep Shoop alive. With the with weave as if needs be. So now we're a card ahead. I'm gonna stay that way. So let's use Geralt and get rid of the Barbagazi. And then we have Dominance. So I'm just gonna use Imlerith and damage the Harpy by two. There we go. So we're card ahead and nine points ahead. So I think he doesn't really have another choice than to. Okay, he's gonna keep going. Interesting choice. So we can use him like it's Wrath after this. It's gonna consume two, but I can do eight damage with Imlerith's Wrath, which gets us, because he's trying to overclass my dominance, but with Imlerith's Wrath, we can do eight damage on Brewers, like this, and regain dominance, which allows us to kill the Ancient Foglet. And there it goes. So still eight points ahead, and still a card ahead. Not really sure what he's trying to do. There we go. So we have card advantage and we have... Yeah, we have. We just have card advantage, which is great. So let's pass. And see what happens in the next one. I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to play Avalok first. To see what happens after this. So Parasite is great. Natural... Natural. Natural is great if I can keep dominance, which I think I can. So let's just get rid of the pallet as well. And there we go. That's that's just an amazing hand. That's an amazing hand. Um, I think I'm going to switch it up a bit. So I'm going to play Avalach first. And do I shield him? I think I'm going to shield him. If I shield him, I get two eight units. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Just end the turn. It's risky, but... Yeah. He's going to trigger that. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I can't use Parasite. Because that's going to be bad. I can use Weave as if I want to. Or I could use Natrol. I think I should probably use Weavers instead. Because at this point it's really dangerous to do anything else. Um, although I could get two Consumes with Brewers instead. Natrol is possibly nine, but... 
I won't be able to destroy an artifact, so there we go. And the turn. Manticore is really powerful if you can play it against a very high powered hand. Okay. So now I should probably play Imlugeth. Or force Parasite first so I know it destroys the troll instead. So let's play Imlirit first. Protect them like this. And then we're gonna go with Parasite. Ooh, yeah, okay. 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 So let's use Parasite on the Imperial Manticore. He's playing this really nicely. So I'm gonna lose the troll. So it's still 6-8, but at least he can trigger that Death Wish ability a second time now. Or a third time, in this case. Okay, I can't destroy that, so... I'm just gonna use Brewers. And I won't be able to get rid of Grigoire's ability, sadly. If we don't have an extra... Ooh, this is gonna be tight. Because it can get 10 points extra with... With that laugh. So, yeah. Like this. That's 5 points. If he has k roll, yeah, he has k roll. Okay. Yep, we lost that one. He was really lucky with his hand. He was really lucky with his hand. That was amazing. Well done. Well done. Even with Grigoire's ability, I wouldn't have won that. That was amazing value in his last hand. Wow. Impressive. But uh, yeah, I don't, don't really feel bad about losing that one. Great job. It was also completely my fault. Should have kept no uh, Geralt in my hand until that final uh, round, because of course, that was like that can actually build up a large unit in the end. But let's see. Neck is a good to against uh, Etne. You actually force her to use her abilities if she wants to pick that out. But a few that was units is never bad. I don't have Imlirit just yet. Which I might want to try and get. No, okay, never mind. Play the lowest unit from your deck. Great for you. Let's boost it immediately. Then the Rotfiend first. Let's end the turn. So we'll go Rotfiend, Bridge Troll. I was hoping you'd say that. And we'll see after that. So he's just boosting. Uh, Going for value there, so let's go with Bridge Troll after that. And end the turn. Then we'll go with either Brewis or Cyclops, depending on if we need to take something out. It's usually... Well, you have both sorts of Etna players. You have the guys that know what they're doing, and then you have... People that don't really know what they're doing. And just try... just spend those those hits when they don't need to spend those hits um let's start with the bridge troll first so that brings us up to 13 which is equal although of course they have that extra hit of five points with the artifact the tactical advantage so that's three there now, I should probably use the Cyclops to take out... Yeah, let's just use the Cyclops to take out the Rot Fiends and kill the Dorblet on the Archer. Ah, oh, that was a bit of a waste, but never mind. A bit of a waste of points. Semillion Vart. So that is that. We're almost out of cards already. Which is weird. Um, let's just use the Salino Harpy to get rid of those consumes. Because I probably won't have much use for those. 
I can do 10 damage with Imrit's Rod, so... Pretty safe on that front. Some things cannot be forgiven. So that's four. Which is sadly not what I was looking for. I'm gonna play one more card. Just because I wanna avoid... Yeah, let's just play Imrit's Rod. That's eight points at this point. That's fine. And then the turn. Ah, uh, she's gonna damage me up to... Ah, oh, no. Okay. Fair enough. So that's thinning. Could play Whispers. But spawn a one power copy from you. That, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I usually go for the first round because then I have control over what else happens. Damn you! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to let this go, I think. Because the rest of my hand is pretty useless, so... Let's just pass. We played our witches, we haven't played the biggest cards in our hands. Etne lost my lane. Which is probably the highest one-hit damage usually there. So, the Wyvern out, Parasite in, and for now, I think we're gonna get rid of Karantir. That's a Paler, goddammit. Well, the Paler is fine, I guess. I'm gonna risk it with Shoop. I'm not gonna risk it with Shoop. Let's just use the Paler. The sacrifice of a few goats and lambs surely beats burning folk at the stake. There we go, Paler gone. Then we can play Avalok to get rid of any movement abilities. Garantir is back. Garantir is back, but it's useless at the moment. Neutral. And hit his Fia. Okay. So Predatory Dive is going to be useless. Um, but I can play a one power copy of Avalok. And protect that. And try like this. Don't often do it like this, but I don't have Imrit in my hand, so that's... That's that. There we have the lock and move, which is what I wanted to do. Then we get another Avalok. That Avalok should be able to protect whatever we want to throw up. And there we go, she's gonna kill it with her abilities. Okay. It's sadly a one power unit. I think we'll start off with Shoop. Shoop Knight, if you get the four damage, damage an enemy by four, which is fine. We can put him in the back and damage Fiaren, Fiaren, whatever you wanna call it. Like that. And then it's eerie quiet. Okay. All low power units, but I have I'm sad that I have predatory dive there. Because it's basically basically useless at the moment. Take war. Kill Kiaren with its one damage. There we go. So we don't have the final card, sadly. Ah, for fuck's sake. Always lucky with that. I'm gonna play predatory dive now. It's I know it's useless at the moment, so. Might as well do this. And get rid of a crappy card. So we can't destroy an artifact. So might as well do this. And then the turn. I have a feeling that his cards aren't all that great. Uh, one more damage. Damage damage an enemy unit by six or boost an allied unit by six. Risking it to get destroyed. But he used Geralt already. That's a pretty high powered card. Either four damage or six boosts. I think I'm going to six boost on Shoop. And see what else happens after that. 
God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, okay. Of course he has Scorch. Of course he has Scorch. That was some bullshit. Scorch and a flippin'. Ah, we did win still. There we go. Okay. Scorch and Geralt Professional. That was uh, trying to come to me hard there. And you know what? I think we have time for one more. So uh, here we go. And that wish again. You okay then. Die, that is interesting. The that wishes are going around. Um, we could just try and focus on. If I could get knackers, that would be nice. Predatory dive is going to be useless. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go with. Hmm. I could play Garantir first, actually. Garantir with a bridge troll. And end the turn like that. Just to avoid getting Manticord immediately. Don't make me laugh. Okay. Interesting. Don't know why you would want to do something like that, but fair enough. Like this let's start to go with the rod fiend because if i can get the, the hit in on siri i might actually even be able to kill it without using parasites so two times three uh one which can continuously grow but let's actually use gregoire now gregoire is perfect for this and hit that little necker in the face and end the turn. I think Siri is still the unit with the highest base power. Aha. There we go. That's one I want to take out. So... Probably Parasite now. Because I can't guarantee where everything else is going to. So let's just Parasite Gels. Then let's... Tactical advantage to a bridge troll. And have it like that. You're gonna have to be careful now, because of course Siri is still there. I shall save your death. And he's gonna trigger that, just taking Garanti, which is fine. And I won't be able to kill Siri. Which is my own fault. Should have reacted to that sooner. But let's go with a consume over here. Getting the rot fiend and killing that second necker. And then the turn. So he's getting card advantage, which is great. Oh wow. It's a nice way of passing, but you lost. Wait, what? That was stupid. Why would you pass now? That is not... Because... Well, he has seven cards in his hand. So even the two card advantage he has now, he'll never be able to get back. Because I can just pass. And toss away whatever I want to toss away. Uh, Arc Spore always nice, but probably useless in this case. Too many consumes is also probably not good, so... Let's just get rid of... You know what? I can toss the Barbagazi. Uh, let's get rid of the Wyvern. And we get Neckers. You know what? Let's keep the Neckers. And let's just focus on the Barbagazi. And let's end the turn. Just to toss something away. I don't really need the Barbagazi right now. So he's probably just going to do that, which is great. He's wasting his Manticore. Which is fine by me, because now I'm just going to pass. <laughs> Getting me a full hand and negating <gasps> negating any card advantage. Normally you would toss some cards that, you, that are useless in your hand, but apparently not. What the hell do I know? Um, the Navigator and Predatory Dive, actually. I can go with Predatory Dive, but then I need to get rid of the Neckers. 
And there's a minute. Okay, that's great. That is great. And we have the boost and damage witches as well. So that's great. Let's just see what happens with our opponent. So he's gonna play Knackers. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to play Predatory Dive. Nothing else I can do about that. I have to toss it. That wish, that wish, that wish. I'm gonna play that again, of course. I'm gonna take out the neck to avoid it growing too big. Probably won't be able to get any artifacts out. Okay, let him keep doing that. Then could try Imlirith. I'm gonna have to if I wanna keep this going. The sooner I get him on the field, the better. I get more advantage out of that then. That's good for you. But then again, I can probably just shield that again. Um. So I don't have dominance at the moment, but if I use Weavers, I can actually boost Whispers up and get dominance right now. So let's get rid of the Werecat ourselves. Which is good, because that gets Emlerith to 7 instead of 8, so he can't be targeted by Geralt anymore. He's playing a lot of Deathwish units on purpose, I think, but I have a few high hitters if I want to. So let's play our own Bridge Troll again. Uh, and damage his Deathwish units by 2. And end the turn. Yeah, so the death wishes are go going around now. Um, let's use Hideous Feast on the Harpy Egg, so it's gone. And then on the... on Weavers maybe? Yeah, Weavers. There we go. And then we can kill the Bridge Troll over here. The Troll loses dominance, but we can start making that go away in a second. So, end of turn. So he's playing a lot of that with units. He's gonna try and trigger them all at once with the organic card. I forgot the name for it, but uh, let's boost Whispers up to nine, which gives us dominance back. And damage the Bridge Troll once again. Then we can use Imlerith's Wrath. Hmm, do we use Imlerith's Wrath? I think we probably should. Um, Emirates Rod is 9 right now, so that's perfect for the Harpy. There we go. Uh, going down. Locking dominance onto our position again. Okay. Weird choice. I think he has a crappy hand at the moment. I don't think he has much use for any of that anyway. So let's just kill that bridge troll again. And then we can use Natrol. There we go. Well, I think we got this. There we go. There goes the... Oh, and he hits the shield. Oh, that was bad luck. That was bad luck. That was really bad luck. So we still have Dominance, which is great. Um, I'm just going to kill this. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I think. Um... Let's purify first and see how far that doesn't really matter, I think. There we go. And then we can kill that Seleno Harpy with Geralt. Oh, even better. Even better. Even better. A lot better, even. So then we finish that off with Geralt. And like that. There we go. That was a nice one to end it on. A victory.
against the Death Wish. So we can win against Death Wish decks. We just need to be a bit smarter about it than we were the first time around. Keeping Geralt until the end. I learned from my mistakes. So... That means we're done for today. Hope you guys learned a bit about how to use the Wild Hunt Dominion deck. Still, again, if you have any more tips on how to use this deck even better or maybe some adjustments, you can uh, actually see the deck composition here as well. Almost forgot about that. You can see it here as well. It's uh, the same as in the episode of Gwentech we had last week. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you enjoyed it, why don't give it a like? Every feedback is appreciated. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Gwentech. Goodbye.